When it comes to Grayon Math, we are asked to solve this problem. The circle is inscribed in a triangle with lengths as shown. Find the area of the circle. But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to get the area of this triangle by the Heron's formula. But before we use the Heron's formula, we have to get the semi perimeter of this triangle. So the semi perimeter is simply the sum of the sides. And you need to divide it by 2. So in this case, we have S is equal to 13 plus 14 plus 15 divided by 2. Then this becomes 42. Then 42 divided by 2 is 21. So the semi perimeter is 21 units. Okay, so next is we use the Heron's formula since we already know the semi perimeter. So the area is equal to S, the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where in A, B, C are the sides of the triangle. So we have area is equal to the square root of, since S is equal to 21, then just substitute 21 for S, then 21 again, minus 13, then 21 again, minus 14, then 21 again, minus 15. So we have area is equal to the square root of 21, and 21 minus 13 is equal to 8. And 21 minus 14 is equal to 7. And 21 minus 15 is equal to 6. And we can actually write this as 7 times 6 is equal to 42. But 42 can be written as 2 times 21. And this 8 can be written as uh, 4 times 2. And we can group this 4 times 2 and 2 to be 4 times 4. So this becomes, cancel this, then this, then this becomes 4 times 4. So we have area is equal to the square root of 21 square times 4 square. So area is equal to 21 times 4 or simplifying we have area is equal to 84 square units. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is we need to draw the radius of this circle against the sides of the triangle. And since this circle is mutually tangent with the triangle, then this should be a perpendicular radius. And this also. And this also. And next is we draw a line from the center to the three vertices of the triangle. Okay. And next is we observe that this triangle is subdivided into three smaller triangles. So if we label this first triangle as A and this as B and this as C. And since we know that the area of the whole triangle is 84, and it is subdivided into three triangles with uh, same basis, which is R, and the three different radius, which is the sides of the 
largest triangle. So that would be one half r times 13 plus one half r times 14 plus one half r times 15. So we can factor out one half r. Then inside the parentheses remains 13 plus 14 plus 15. So if you add this, you have uh, 42. So 42. Then 42 divided by 2, this would become 21 r then equal to 84 and therefore we can say that r is equal to 84 divided by 21 and that is 4 so the radius of the circle is 4 units okay so now knowing the value of r to be 4 then we have now the area is equal to pi r squared so area is equal to pi times 4 squared. So area is equal to 16 pi square units. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.